Yesterday I played a good sci-fi game. Today I'm not. I have admittedly been putting off part two of this because, oh my god, last time was so bad. But I can't put it off any longer. I have to continue this. I have to push forward through the pain and the suffering to bring you content. I can only hope my immense pain brings you all joy, chat. Hello, Kratosis. How are you doing today? I was doing fine until I started the stream. You've been enjoying your time off work? Yes, I go back tomorrow and I'm extremely depressed about it. I hate my job so much. And this week off has been great. I love the smell of suffering in the morning. Oh boy. Hey, Creed, it's been a while since I've caught you live. Hope all is well. It would be if I wasn't playing Starfield. I paced around at 1am for three hours rewriting the Starfield universe in my head. Oh my god. Alright. Ooh, a Starfield stream to fall asleep to, yeah. Hey Creed, how's April treating you? I mean, we're only two days in. It's kind of hard to judge two days in. So what happened last time? Oh boy, what happened last time on the Starfield stream? It'll probably take me a half hour to, like go into details, but every step of the way was stupid. I, I was finding problems constantly. Like, okay, you see Sysdef, we're gonna blackmail you into working for us. If you don't uh, work undercover with us to take down these pirates, we'll add a few extra hundred credits to your bounty. To, to your criminal record. We'll falsify your criminal record. It's like, oh. Okay, well that sucks. I guess I'll work for you then. So, you get upstairs, I explain everything to you, then you talk to... What's her name? His second in command? And she's like, oh yeah. He was afraid doing this for the sake of good wouldn't be enough for you, so we've... set aside money to pay you for any evidence you bring us. Why didn't you just offer to pay me in the first place? Why'd you have to blackmail me into this? I feel like... God, I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to even describe this. It feels like they wanted a, like... Hold on. You know how in some, like, movies and TV shows and stuff... Um where similar things happen. It's like, oh yeah, you're recruited into the good guys by, like, being blackmailed because you've got a criminal record or whatever. Hey, we'll let your past sins slide if you work for us. But we're gonna have you do something dangerous. It feels like they wanted to do something like that, but they had no good justification for it. So it just comes across as complete shit. Very impor uh, uh, important person with a visible bomb in his chest holds all the essential accounts for the Crimson Cringe. He's also essential. Yeah, that too. That, that was one of the many problems. Alright. 
So, one of the things I've heard is that the cringe just leave evidence around other crimes. And you can gather those to uh, turn in. And I don't know if those are available yet. I, like, I'm a few quests in, so realistically I should just be able to find them lying around, but... I don't want to spend too much time on this on stream, though. I might look some of them up, uh... Yeah, I might look some of them up uh, off stream. Because it's not going to be fun for you guys if I'm just searching up and down rooms for, like, a data pad or whatever, you know? Speak of the devil. Yeah, so like I was saying, the room walks right up to Bog, lifts the drink, and pours it all over the floor. There, I finished it, he said. <laughs> ah, and then after Bog was done with them, they needed a mop to clean up the mess. Yeah, yeah, we've all heard that crap a thousand times. Hey, Kratosis, how hard has it been dragging yourself back to this mess? Pretty hard. Because uh, I did a lot of writing for the um, scripting the analysis for the main story. It's like, okay, I'm at the end of that. Now I have to return to the game. I've been putting it off for weeks, actually. But I need to do this if I'm going to ever finish the analysis. And I do want to get it done this year, you know? Two dollars from Austin Newstantine. Thank you. I missed yesterday's stream. Here's the super chat. Oh, well, thank you. Sounds like the writers wanted to give you a Snake Plissken raw deal without making sure you're actually a Snake Plissken. Yeah, pretty much. So is this a DLC or something or side content? Uh, side content. There's the main story in the base game. There's a whole bunch of side quests, which I don't even know if I'll stream those or not. And there's the four side factions. Um... Ryujin Industries, UC Vanguard, the Freestar whatever, Freestar Rangers I think it is, and the faction I'm doing right now, the Crimson Cringe. Is cereal a type of soup? Yes, hell no. Yeah, real, real good pirate faction, guys. 10 out of 10, I don't hate this at all. Can you not do the thing anymore? I guess not. Oh well. Is mayonnaise an instrument? What the fuck is this California workplace shit? They're the space pirates, the people who brutally murder and steal. Oh, right! They're pirates. They're only... They're only interested in money. They don't kill people except for the first job they send you on to kill people. Let me just ask you one final question before we wrap up. Fine. Go ahead. When is enough going to be enough? How many credits does Jasper Cricks need until he's satisfied? I should have expected you'd ask such a stupid question. How the hell could you ever understand? You with your fancy education, and your sheltered upbringing, and your cushy media job? Me? I came from nothing. Everything I own, I've literally drawn blood to gain. There's no need to get personal. I'm simply trying to state the facts so that our listeners can make judgments of their own. Lady, I got news for you. Half of your listeners think I'm a hero. The other half are scared out of their goddamn minds, and they should be. Perhaps we should talk about something else. No, that's it. We're done. Can you guys get her the hell out of here? Make sure she takes all the sound equipment with her. Well, that's it then. Thank you for your... Actually, before you go, Gail, there's one more thing I would like to say. Yes, of course. Uh, what is it? When you broadcast this interview on SSNN, I want you to remember that I'll be listening. If you edit even one word or manipulate my voice to change anything I've said, I will hunt you down and kill you. 
I understand. You have my word. <sighs> this guy sounds like an edgy Sonic OC. Yeah, I think I said that last stream, is I might... I might have to, uh, take that joke out of the main story and apply it to this faction, because holy shit. So is the Crimson Cringe basically just space raiders? Pretty much, yeah. They're space pirates. Five dollars from Harv3034. Thank you. I missed the bi-weekly uh, bi gatherings of Goat's Neck and Haunts. Uh, hope the boys are well. Update the playlist, Goat Boy. Stag will- we- we will be doing another stag at some point. I do want to do it. We just... We're, we're looking for things to talk about. I don't know. Probably take my cut, hop onto a transport, and get as far away from nosy scumbags like you as I possibly can. I might not be looking hard enough, but I'm not finding too much... Evidence just lying around. One thing I want to point out too is look how dirty and like messy and lived in this place feels. As opposed to like their actual ships when you fight them and board their ships. Which are pristine and clean and everything you know. Well, there's a new follow TV show you could talk about. Oh. Uh, from Drenate, Drenadius on uh, Twitch chat. Greetings, esteemed sir. I bid the most noble salutation. Well, hello. Welcome to the stream. I hope you enjoy. It's at April 11th. Oh my god. Stream is choppy on my end as well. Yeah, I think we were having that problem last time and I don't know why it was choppy. No, oh, that guy. I don't feel like dealing with him right now. I'm gonna have to get to the uh, quest line soon, but man. Need a drink? The fleet's the only family you need. Maybe. So there I am. You see security on my tail and my grab drive. They just don't care that I'm picking up their money, just lying there. Why is it every time we go out to go? I heard his last Oh yes, a data pad. Is this more evidence? Like your 
trying to deflect attention off the atrocities the Crimson Fleet commits on a daily basis. Atrocities, huh? How about fighting the Freestar Collective over a bunch of rocks hanging in space? How about thousands of people dying while a bunch of pencil-pushing bastards sit in a cushy office and draw lines on a star map? Maybe the United Colonies should stop the bullshit and take a hard look in the mirror to see who the monsters really are. Oh my god, there's a swear word in this game. I am actually shocked. I think that's... Is that actually the first swear word I've seen in this entire game? Is there an aspect of this game that is better than other Bethesda titles? This game is really, really, really good at putting you to sleep. You know, how does the Crimson Fleet know who is piloting one of their ships? I don't know. Holy shit, I'm actually bored. Yep. Kretosis, why are some of the people on the Discord pink? Why don't you ask them? Wait, this is Crix himself? How fucking old is this not holotape? I think the breakout of the prison was about a hundred years. Yeah, I remember talking about it last time on stream. It was about a hundred years before now. So, these interviews are after the escape of the prison, so it's probably five years after that, maybe. What great fucking backstory for the pirate faction. Oh yeah, some of us broke out of jail, but we needed some backup, so I put out a call. And freelance pirates from all over came to join us, and we just became a faction. Fucking love it. If you need credits, Such good writing. Do you have any you fucking evidence credits. lying around that I can take? I guess not. What about you? Do you have a holotape sitting here that I can just take? I probably got it. Doesn't even care that I'm rummaging through her fucking back room area. This doesn't really hit home when you see zero conflict aside from random pirates and zealots. Yep. Holy crap, I literally forgot everything that Log said the moment it ended. Such incredible storytelling. Yeah. Yeah, I... I'm already struggling to remember. It's like... We escaped. Called some ships. You have something for me? Is food really so rare that you put it in a display case like that? <sighs> uh, Harness Vendor. Hello! Hope you're doing well. Five dollars from Snub Caboose. Thank you. I don't know how to put it, but it feels like the setting and environment alone is just horrendously dull and uninteresting. Yeah, that's because it is. That's because it is. They make a pirate faction... Like, you can join a, a pirate, evil, bad guy faction, and it's just the most bland, milquetoast shit fucking possible. Oh my god, a public access computer. Let me download... Oh man, isn't it cool, guys, how the pirates have their own operating system and UI where it's, it's red because they're evil? These are normally blue on normal computers. Oh, it's so good.
How do you make uh, space and space pirates boring? I don't know. Pirate OS Lamau, yeah. Wow, they have four text files on there. It's always weird to me when, like, you open a computer in a, in a game. And it's like, yes, we have these four text files on the desktop and nothing else. You can look good and protect your ass at the same time. Who are you talking to? Why are you motioning to me back here? Yeah, considering part of this whole thing is to just gather evidence, it's weird that I'm not... I guess I shouldn't say it's weird that I'm not finding any. Based on what I've read before, I'm surprised I'm not finding much. Audio logs and te uh, text logs would be especially helpful in bringing them to justice. Alright. I did find a text log that was just... Or, sorry, a couple audio logs, I think. They were just sitting there, but, yeah. You see, sister, sharks, but to the fleet, they're just bait. The fuck does that even mean? We can fight with all these beat up hand me downs. We get to use all the good stuff. When the sky starts raining credits, until then, maybe you could just shut up and stop complaining. I didn't explore this other area that well, so I'm gonna look over here for a bit. Can we just fabricate evidence and go home? Yeah, that was the other thing. Oh, we're gonna fabricate evidence against you to blackmail you into, uh... Thing. Hello, everyone. I don't I'm care. Oh my god. SNN, this... Uh, we're gonna fabricate evidence to blackmail you into working for us, but we're not gonna fabricate evidence to bring the pirates down. It's like, what? The fleet is family. His Stealing from each other is just what you call has landed him a professional at courtesy. The top of the wanted list for every major law enforcement agency in the galaxy. I feel like I zoned out. What happened? Thank you for accepting my invitation. Yes, well, being blindfolded and then Grav jumped to what appears to be an abandoned mining facility isn't exactly what I call an invitation. Well, I'm sure you're not surprised at your request for an interview. No, it just stops when I go through yeah, I was oh. a bit surprised to receive any type of response at all. Would you mind telling me why you decided to do this interview? Because there comes a time in every pirate's life where they have to make an extremely important decision. Do they take a leap and become one of the most legendary pirates in history? Or do they simply sputter on subsisting on freighters and deep space privateers? So are we to assume that you are taking the lead? That Jasper Crix is moving on to bigger and better things in his life? That's spot on, Gail. That's exactly why you're here. Oh wait, this is a ship I stole earlier, well, wasn't it? Would you mind sharing with us? You're not stole, exactly I escaped on.
have at least 12 hours before the authorities trace this broadcast. Plenty of time to discuss whatever If I had like. a billion crest, oh. I'd run my own city. <laughs> All right then. Perhaps the exactly best place to start this interview would be at the beginning of your career. Please, proceed. Holy fuck, these... How can you make the backstory to your pirate faction so fucking aggressively tedious? Like, come on. Surely you could do something with it. Also, jokes aside, the reason I shot that guy last there, back there, was because of one of the most stupid and inane things I've ever fucking heard. Oh, we're pirates. Stealing from one another is just a courtesy. That explains why they don't give a shit when you just take stuff. As long as you put the pl fleet first, we won't have any problems until- yeah, unless you fucking heavier? steal from people. You know, the fleet comes first, but you can steal from the fleet as much as you want. It's totally not a fucking contradiction. God, is there any aspect to this game that isn't pure fucking dog shit? How can an interview with a pirate be so lame? It's not just a pirate, it's like the the fucking founder of the Crimson Cringe. I mean, I've been down here already, haven't I? That's just the mission Those board. Mission hey guys, do you think we should do some radiant quests? Huh? You could do a generic thing. Or a generic thing, or a generic thing. Or more generic things. Somehow the Nuka World Raiders were more interesting. God, I don't even know. Going to clear themselves. Oh god, I just want to find evidence. I keep finding data pads of this fucking stupid interview. Uh, 200 CZK, I'm not sure what that is, from Cliff Racer. Thank you. Just so you don't feel like you're suffering in vain. Oh, well, thank you.
body on a public street in the well. On the street, reputation is everything. I wanted everyone in the city to know that Jasper Cricks was taken over. I think they got the message. Got mixed feelings about my last job. On the one hand, lost a friend. But on the other hand, I got the credits. I'll probably feel better once I spend them. God, I... I... Everything! It's just everything! It's so fucking aggressively boring! Say whatever you want about it. Well... Say what you want about Az. But, like, him calling this game boring is the most accurate thing ever, because it's so fucking awful! Like, every element of it is boring! It's just the best description... Description for this crap. The fleet protects our own. Or you turn against us, and you're dead. The only way I could be more bored is by watching grass grow, yeah. You could tell it's written by Kelly faux edgy punk kids, because it's literally only explanation for how boring and toothless it is. Yeah. Creek, can we play a Mud Runners game? I'd rather see you trying to get a truck out of mud than this. I don't even know what that is. Alright, so they said they were going to cut this guy loose. They, they don't want to work with him anymore. I didn't get the option to tell boss man that this guy wanted to betray him, but whatever. But he was just fine with dropping this guy. By the way, you can't leave and you don't retire. You're in the Crimson Cringe until you die. So... <sighs> whatever. Hey, I want to talk to you. Thanks to you. Delgado's cut me from the fleet. Well, you know what? You better get your own fleet. Because I'm coming after you. How? How? Actually, how? How do you get cut from the Crimson Cringe faction when they tell you up front the only way you're getting out is dying? That you can't quit, you can't retire. So, okay. You can't quit, you can't retire. The only way it is if you die. Unless we decide we don't want you working with us anymore, then you're fired. Like, really? Really? Oh, fuck, I hate this part. Oh, God. I also just saw there's another super chat there I missed. Oh, wait, no, it's showing your super chat twice for some reason, Cliff Racer. That's weird. Hmm. You could just quit and run away. Yeah. They can't even stay consistent with their own lore fuck by life. Yep. Well, I've seen this multiple times already. I thought this was okay for a space exploration game. I just don't play any of the missions and just explore the planets. Not defending it, just saying. I mean, yeah, if, if if you have fun with this, then yeah, fine, whatever. But the story content is fucking abysmal. Holy shit. The stream glitched out? How do you mean? I think he's also essential. Yeah, he's threatening me right here, right now. Remember, first thing I saw upon coming onto the space station was uh one pirate killing another for you know fucking fucking him over so this guy here 
He's like, oh yeah, I'm I'm coming after you. I'm gonna get you. Yeah, he's if I exit this dialogue, he's probably gonna be unkillable because he can only die when he's scripted to die. Rather than me taking the care of the problem now before it gets to be a fucking problem, because fucking of course I would. Would you have preferred I told Delgado about your little plot to kill him? I- Why did I not have the option to? Oh, I see. You think you're some kind of big shot, is that it? Gonna show poor Mathis a little mercy now that you're Delgado's best buddy, yeah? Huh? Well, guess what? Your generosity is getting me kicked off the key. And that means you better watch your back. I stayed to give you a message that you better start looking over your shoulder. You'll never know when I'll be right behind you, ready to pull the trigger. Now get the hell out of me way! I'm being kicked off the space station, but I'm staying... They're letting me stay here indefinitely until you talk to me. So I can tell you that I'm, I'm super mad at you now. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna kill you one of these days. Really? Come on. Fucking lame-ass character in a lame-ass faction in a fucking lame-ass game. Okay, so he just threatened to kill me. One of these days, I'll be behind you with a gun. Well, I'm in front of you with a gun right now, motherfucker. Let's, let's see how this plays out. Will I actually have choice as a player, or am I going to be railroaded by the shitty writing? Okay, maybe I should have stood a bit further back with my explosive gun. <laughs> nice shot, thank you. Of course. Thank you, Bethesda, for this wonderful, amazing game. He still flagged as part of the faction, if I recall correctly. It doesn't matter! It doesn't matter! I wasn't even, like... I mean, yes, it is a problem that everyone else is in on it, too. That, like, I shoot him. And they're like, oh no, they shot one of our guys. He's been kicked out! He's not allowed on the space station anymore. It's shocking that he hasn't been forced out of an airlock yet. That he just gets to stand here until, like, he says his lame-ass message to me. But the fact that... Oh my god. $2 from Minnesota Fats. Thank you. I wish there was a who are you dialogue option. Yeah. Did my second super go through? Let me check. It's funny, you're considering the scene where one NPC kills the other earlier. NPCs have more freedom than the player. Yeah, exactly. It's part of my point. The first thing you see upon stepping on this space station is two pirates are having an argument. One is screwing over the other for money. So the one that's getting screwed over kills the other. And that's over like, oh hey, you didn't pay me what you should have. This isn't, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill you one of these days because you made me sad. Uh, $2 from Austin Ustantin, sorry for missing your super chat. Damn it, unpink me or I'll unpurple you. No, the, the pink roll is permanent. Enjoy your mark of shame. The Great American Novel! Yeah. Good shot, man. <laughs> Over 
Morrowind, you can kill anyone. Starfield, you can't kill the guy threatening to kill you. Yep. Hey, Kree, I'd rather have something like the Temple of Trials or the Rat Cave in the original Fallout games than any Bethesda titles. Morrowind is still, like, really, really good, and Oblivion is flawed, but it's worth playing, I think. But yeah, everything else is fucking shit. Membership message from Mecha Canal Number Num Number Riero. Thank you. Hattie Kretosis, hope you're having fun and keep up the good work. Thank you. No, I'm not having fun. I'm... Holy shit, I've, I've been playing for 40 minutes? Did you get my DM on Twitter about a potential collab? I'm wondering if you're interested. If you can't answer yet, I understand. Um, I actually haven't done a collab before. Um, I'll try to get back to you in DMs later. I'm not sure if I'll have time today after the stream. But in the next couple days, I'll message you back and... Uh... uh we could talk about it. This should not have been a $70 game. This should have been 50 at most. God, for the quality of the content, this game should have been free. The fact that anyone paid for this worthless slop is a crime. No, Kree, it's clearly been 10,000 years. What? Even the worst written stuff by Kirkbride within Oblivion interests me more, so I'd agree. Yeah, like... God, I... I... How did Bethesda get to this point where... Like, the writing is this sanitized and lame in just every regard? We'll settle systems on the run someday. There you are. All right, look. I've been lining up a score with that asshole roll call from the Siren of the Stars for months. I'm not about to let a payday slip through my fingers. So guess what? You're gonna finish the job for me. I'm about to tell you, so shut up and listen. Roll call's been tipping me off about some kind of bullshit charity event that the Siren of the Stars is hosting. At the event, they're gonna give away something called the Earth Savior Award, which is worth tens of thousands of credits. So it's simple. While you're on the Siren, swiping those gal bait credentials, I want you to grab that award and bring it to me. Why is this award worth like tens of thousands of credits because like god so for the award itself to actually be worth anything it would probably be like made of valuable material you know like oh hey here's a gold statue like uh, just trying to think on the logistics of this. I don't know what, like... Obviously, I don't know what black market values on stuff are, but, like... What if you were to steal someone's Nobel Prize before they were even, like, given it to to try and draw, like, a uh, comparable situation? Would that actually be worth anything? Would that be worth tens of thousands of dollars in real life? Or would it just be, like... Good job, moron. You stole a, a medal, a, an award that doesn't actually have any intrinsic value. 
Because I get the impression that you you know there's places like there's places you can go to to have trophies made, and like you could just have your own bowling trophy made or whatever, and it's basically worthless as far as like <laughs> an actual I guess thing to own is you know like the what makes an award valuable is like actually earning it in the first place. Like if I, if I go and make a video game and I, I get my game into the, the game awards, the, the fucking shill awards and I, I win the award. Then it's like, Oh yeah, man, that's, that's super duper cool. I, I won this award. It's not going to really have value to anyone else. Is it? The Nobel Prize comes with a check for tens of thousands of bucks. Okay, but that's different. She wants me to steal the award. The award in this quest is made of precious gems, if I recall correctly. Okay, that does change things. That does actually give merit to, like, oh, hey, this thing is worth money. It's like stealing an ambu uh, ambulance. They're worth 100k minimum, but the only people that buy them are hospitals. Stealing them is stupid. Yeah, exactly. That's kind of the impression I was getting. The Nobel Prize medal isn't worth more than what metal it's made out of. Yeah, that's kind of what I figured. If it actually does have gems on it, though, then, like, yeah. That, that makes sense. It's going to be valuable. Not gonna lie, the characters give off the vibe of uh, trying to come off as hard and tough, but they probably surrender if you breathe on them the wrong way. Yeah. Like, again, I, I have to point this out from the last stream because it bugs me so much, but this bitch here that I'm talking to is like, if you betray the Crimson Fleet, I'll shove a missile up your grav drive, or sorry, a warhead up your grav drive, and it's like, Really? That's what you're having the pirates say? The second in command of the pirate faction? I'm gonna shove a warhead up your grave drive. Not, I will fucking flay the skin from your body for betraying us. You know? Like, something with some actual bite to it. If I wasn't opposed to wasting money, I'd buy a statue for wasted X dollars buying the statue. Eh, I don't know. I, I just can't imagine... Because, like, yeah, if you look at other awards like Grammys or Oscars or whatever, I, I don't know what all the award shows are. I don't really care. But, like... It just doesn't seem like something to get. Unless you're maybe like a hardcore fan of like some actor or musician and who's passed away. Like um, if you're a diehard John Lennon fan, and I, I don't know if he has a music award, whatever the music awards are. But if he had one, I can imagine like a diehard fan wanting to own his award, but, like, that's probably also going to go to his family and not just get sold off. Unless it's for, like, a charity event or something. But at that point, it's, like, a completely different thing, you know? All right. Prefer them to remain focused and one likes to cheat, or you need to win that trophy fair and square. How is an award worth so much money? I'm glad they actually have the question there from the pictures i've seen the award is set with 12 blue diamonds and covered in gold filigree if i get jazz to take it apart i can turn it into a hell of a lot of cash and best of all the components become untraceable all right that's that's a suitable answer i guess but like how do you know that it would actually be worth that much because that's a lot of money to, like, just put into a statue that's going to sit on your shelf. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, very funny. You're hilarious. You should stand up on the bar here and start telling more jokes. This crowd would eat it up. Look, you can make all the jokes and excuses you want. But if you don't come back with the ES award, I'm gonna deduct it from your pay. Either way, I get my money. How much you walk away with is in your own hands. Got it? So... I'm gonna be paid that much for this job. But the entire award can just be deducted from my pay. Okay. They probably have tracking in the transport case. Something, maybe. Blue diamonds are almost worthless. Blue diamonds can be used in computers. Oh no! And yeah, uh, gold filigree, that doesn't sound like much. That's like like surface level design work, isn't it? I'm I'm pretty sure like Silence is really Oh my god. Me. Whoever decided that mechanic needs to exist in this game should be sent to the fucking testicle flattening room cuz Jesus Christ. I mean with a hydraulic press. Um, I, I lost my train of thought there. Right, the gold filigree. That sounds like a surface level detail thing, like, very thin, very superficial, not that much substance to it, as opposed to, like, oh yeah, solid gold. How the fuck are they going to deduct? You ain't working for a wage, bitch. I, I would have to double check on that. Blue diamonds, aren't those sapphires? Uh, they might be different because of some vague thing I don't know about to do with gemology? I don't know what it's called. Because, like, um, the fake diamonds, the, uh, the zircons, aren't they, like, pretty much worthless even though they look like diamonds? How's this award worth more than something like a spaceship? I don't know. There's more gold in a single space rock than has been found in all of human history. What? Gold filigree is worth something if it's any in, in any amount, and it would be required... And, and would require you to go through more trouble than it's worth to actually make any money from it. I see. So basically what she just described to me was this statue has a worthless diamond in it, the blue diamonds, and a gold filigree which is which has value but is not worth the effort to get. Diamonds in general aren't really worth all that much to begin with as an artificial worth. Yeah. No, I know that. But still, it's like... We do have to take them at what people value them at currently, you know? Aren't real diamonds actually common? The companies are just making them seem rare to artificially infl uh, inflate the price? Probably. Zirconium is fake. Real diamonds are made of a special form of carbon. Gemstones are categorized by the material itself. Color can vary. Diamonds and other types of gems have many colors. Yeah, I know there's many colors. There's like rubies, sapphires, emeralds. You know, the Pokemon games. Um, I'm pretty sure there's like purple gemstones. There's yellow probably. I don't know what they're all called. Um... Fuck, what's, what's the purple one called again? I know Topaz is like the orange one. Amethyst. Uh, Five dollars from Snub Caboose. Thank you. I think my catalytic converter that was stolen had more value. Lol. Yeah, it sounds like it. No, sapphires can have many colors. Uh, diamonds aren't always white, etc. Yeah, I think I remember hearing something like that before too, but... 
stereotypically they're portrayed that way. Hmm. Yeah, ES, Earth, Savior. Get it? No, because Earth is fucking dead. Keep up with me here. I got about 17 other things to do, and you're holding me up. Then it's settled. Good. All right, Rook, we're done here. Now, get your ass to the siren. And bring me my goods. Because that's exactly what you are. A rookie. A newbie. Fresh meat. Beneath all of that inexperience, I'm sure you have an actual name. But honestly, no one gives a damn. So get used to hearing that word. Until you earn your stripes, you're a rook to everyone in the fleet. Good luck. Oh boy, these are some heckin' dangerous people. Food around here folks. is what you'd expect. Cheap, fast. Some people yeah. drink coffee to wake up. Me? I have bought for me a shot of whiskey. Have a good to see you. Oh my god. Why the fuck are you still here? You literally ended the conversation with me with get out of my way because you're leaving. And yet you haven't left. Considering you've been kicked off this plate. God, mm, God, I fucking hate this game. We may not have official security on the key, but we're always looking. Hey, Kratosis, can you turn the volume up a bit? Sure. Hopefully that's better. Are you looking to start something? I'll finish. Grog, really? Yeah, Grog, you know, cause pirates. Mm. Do I actually have to land in a fucking actual spaceport to change my ship to something that isn't dog shit? This thing doesn't even have weapons. I can't help but smell the stink of ML everywhere in this game. I just can't help it. He is the only credited writer in this game. Not to be confused with writing, because those are two separate credits. The way I think it works is... The writer is the person whose job it is to actually write the stories. Whereas a writing credit is you've contributed in some form or another. Like you've given an idea or said something to be credited. Wait, why is... Why the fuck is all this shit in here? What? This was uh, the stuff that was in my other ship. No cyber peg legs, nor alien parrots. Worst pirates, zero out of ten doubloons. I'm actually shocked they didn't do something that dumb. Not gonna lie, if I was a dev on this game, I'd have to be left, uh, kept out of the game's credits. Yeah. Engine and grav, no shields or anything else.
I'm also only credited writer because Bethesda is well aware of how awful their writing is. I want to spare the rest of their staff from their public humili uh, humiliation for this shit show. Yeah. Welcome to the Free Star Collective. Please maintain your current course while we scan your ship. Why do I still have contraband on the ship? What the fu- Oh, wait, I- <sighs> Be advised, you have been identified as- Our scan detected contraband on board. Halt and prepare to be boarded. All illegal and stolen goods will yeah, be- Yeah, yeah, fucking get on with it. Jesus Christ. Copy that. Stay on course while we escort you in. Man, the whole, like- Confiscated goods thing system is fucking annoying. Nobody in here right now. Maybe you should play Oblivion instead. I have to do this for research for the game. Or for the video. <sighs> All I wanted to do was change my ship. Okay, let's all just take a breath here. We all want to protect Listen to Davis Wilson's argument. I don't give a shit. Leave me alone. Why did they think it was a good idea to give you a fucking, like, awful ship that has no shields or weapons and you have to land on another planet just to be able to fucking switch it out? Where is the ship modification guy anyways? God, I don't give a shit about Davis Wilson. Just because I walk by a fucking person that's talking doesn't mean I should have to fucking engage with them. Anything I can help you with? Hey, what can I do for you? Sure, how about it? Oh boy, I have to register this piece of junk too. But Cree, they tried <laughs> Riri Riri Howard on this game. I don't care how much they tried. It's still dog shit. God, this is already putting me to sleep. Space gamer, you can't do space stuff, and exploring is more barren than Fallout 4. Yeah. Why the fuck are you doing a scan on me when I just left the planet? Alright, you're good. Welcome to Aquila City. I just took off from Aquila Silly, you city, you dumb fuck. Oh my god.
that was their capital? I thought it was a slum. It's both. I'm going to play this once more when the DLC comes out. And then I've got to my money's worth. That was like squeezing blood from a stone. Jesus Christ, I wish you luck. The space game with no aliens or civilizations, genetic modification, yet no mutants. Uh, raiders, but no crime. People, but no cities. And spaceships, but no fleets. Truly an incredible feat. Yeah. Do what Commander Ikande says. Commander Akon, they can fucking shove it. Most of our operations team graduated top of their classes. Okay, first of all, you. Remember to turn in any evidence. Good. The more you find. It's amazing that all this romantic nonsense about Crix's legacy really just amounts to a rumor Jasper Crix picked up in jail. It just goes to show you how a tiny rumor can snowball into a full-blown fairy tale. Any other fragments? How is that gonna fucking help you? Oh yeah, a guy a hundred years ago, he heard a rumor and they, he might have committed a crime because of that rumor. He's fucking dead! Five dollars from some shambler. Thank you. Hi, Cree. Sorry for the spam. Hope you can detox after this Todd slop. Yeah, I, I see you over in Discord. You've sent me like 20 messages. <laughs> trying hard not to fall asleep right now. I wish you luck. I'm trying hard to not fall asleep myself. So this also means that none of the recordings I picked up were actually worth anything. Oh, You're boy. still there? It Shut like the we'll fuck up! The devs can't distinguish gossip and evidence. Very true to real life. Yes. Yo, back. So how did it go? Why are you shocked? Even with our best intelligence equipment, we can monitor very little from the vigilance. We can pick up local communications chatter and use long-range scans to see where you travel. But when you're on the ground, you're on your own. If we get too close, we not only expose ourselves to an attack, but we might blow your cover. And that could get everyone killed. Frankly, it's because we've never gotten this far before. The last agent I sent to infiltrate the Crimson Fleet ended up in a morgue on New Atlantis. Thank you for risking my life and blackmailing me into this over a petty crime. Where you've never gotten this far before. And like you... you Previous agents you've sent in have already been killed. Actually, go fuck yourself. Then things are moving forward. Perfect. Nice job, Rook. I was certain we'd fool Delgado, but never. She's a sharp one. Overcoming her scrutiny is no small matter. Did you discover anything worth reporting yet? Legacy. Why does that sound familiar? Are you really having Wait trouble with this? Are you telling me Delgado may have actually located Crix's legacy? Well, actually, I'm the one that I found it. I suppose it's possible, sir. Intelligence picked up a bit of chatter on that subject recently. We assumed it was some sort of tall tale or a story to attract recruits to their cause. For division of the fucking Galactic Navy, these guys are so incompetent, yeah. 
All right, take it easy. We prefer to check our own sources, if you don't mind. Let me see what we have here. Nope. There are no records of a gal bank transport named the legacy in the database. <laughs> I think Delgado's trying to manipulate you. I'm the one who fucking you found think, it, you dumb fuck. I think there's no record because gal bank is hiding something. Oh, we are actually... Delgado's no fool. If he risked his own neck to get that information, oh my God. he must be on to something. We have to take this seriously. What's your next move? Clever, Delgado. Very clever. If I were in your place, I'd be trying to do the exact same thing. We can't let Delgado get his hands on what could potentially turn out to be the largest haul of credits the Crimson Fleet's ever seen. Maybe I should head out to New Atlantis, sir. I could press the Galbank execs for information. Get ahead of everything. No. Let's allow this to run its course. We have our agent here feeding us information. I think that's good enough for now. There's more to this than just finding the location of the transport. Jasper Griggs was clever. And for some reason, he never got there. I am actually yawning away here because of this game. God, it's so shit. Jesus Christ, I can't do this. This is gonna put me into a coma. Oh no. Please survive, Harv. Please note that there is evidence connected to side missions that could be missed if you only focus on the main faction quest. Oh boy, so I have to do the side missions. That's... that's wonderful. Where do I find these side missions? And let Neva Mora take his place. Or Shinya Voss. Or any one of a number of pirates already gunning for his position. No. The solution is to stick to the undercover operation and determine how much of this is truly a credible threat. Because the Crimson Fleet would be a totally different adversary. And Kriegs wouldn't have disappeared years ago. Even if they hid the money with that damn human computer, Shinya Voss, our forensic accounting people would have found that data. No. The Crimson Fleet are in dire shape right now. They haven't seen that much currency. Well, ever. They're in dire shape, but if we were to fight them, it would be an all-out war and we'd suffer heavy losses. If that's them in dire shape that can hurt you that badly, then what are they at fucking peak? What? It's imperative that you do. If the Crimson Fleet gets its hands on a transport full of currency, it would be disastrous for the settled systems. I need you to do whatever you can to bring us more information. And for God's sake, don't kill anyone on that Starliner. <laughs> Both dismissed. Oh boy, I get a skill point. What can I spend it on? Oh no, I can't... I can't... Oh wait, no, I think I have to... Wait, the first rank needs a fucking challenge too? I thought the first rank was free, what? Am I just... Oh, okay, I see what it is. I did have that one already. Then why wouldn't it tell me what the challenge is mousing over the second one? Complete the previous rank challenge to unlock this rank. Kill 20 enemies with a pistol. Why not show it here? Sure. Use healing items 50 times while wounded. Oh my god. A transport full of currency? Yes, currency. Based on your actions, I've heard this operation's on thin ice. One more mishap and I'm afraid we're gonna have to shut it down. 
One more mishap, eh? Keep going. One more mishap? Like this? Man, even going on killing sprees in this game is fucking boring. Five dollars from... Uh, I hope I'm pronouncing this right. Uh, Mischi. Thank you. Bethesda's games have been bad for a while, but this is the first that genuinely feel soulless. Yeah, kinda. There's a lot of parts in Fallout 4 where it feels like they weren't putting in a real effort. But... Well, I mean, even then, it's, it's hard for me to see any real passion in Fallout 4, but, uh... It's definitely not this bad. This game feels like pointless, generic, all-purpose slop that's just supposed to appeal to everyone and as a result appeals to no one. Well, I shouldn't say no one. There's, there's a few people who like this game for some reason. It's kind of nodding off there for a second, too. What is an Ian VTuber? English VTuber. How much of a chore does it feel to play this game? Fallout 4 was already pretty bad with its bullet sponge enemy. Is this just as bad? Yes. This feels like even more of a chore because... Well, it still has the badness of Fallout 4's writing. There's something about the writing in this game that just feels extra awful due to how boring it is. About well, time you showed up. All right, I want to know what's going on. I've been trying to get Delgado's attention for, oh, I don't know, three years now. And what do I get? Nothing but radio silence. Then out of nowhere, just when Neva and I are closing in on a huge score of our own, Delgado orders me to help you out. Well, I'll be damned. Someone from the fleet finally agrees with me about something. It's a goddamn miracle. So Neva's message said you were here for Dombrowski. Was that all she sent you here to do? 
Or was there something else you were sent here to steal? Oh, really? Did she now? I can't believe she's trying to cut me out of this deal. Without me, the award never would have ended up here in the first place. Is that Ulfric's VA? I, I don't know, and no offense, I don't really care. I don't pay attention to who does the voices. It doesn't matter to me as far as the analysis goes. What matters is if the voice sounds good or not. And this, this one here, I don't even care to fucking comment on. It's just whatever. Without her, you're also never getting back into the fleet. Again, you only leave the fleet by dying. There's no quitting, there's no retiring, but apparently you can be kicked out. I spent months manipulating the Terran Preservation Society to hosting their gather affair aboard the Siren of the Stars. I had to arrange the event to make sure that the award was aboard the ship. Nava said she'd do the rest. When I got a message about Dubrovsky, I assumed she'd be tagging along to steal the award. But it looks like uh, she said you in her place. Hmm. She told you to hold that over my head, did she? Oh, that witch. Fine, I'll help. But you're doing all the legwork, and I'm still taking my cut of the payout. Anyway, we'll get to that later. First, we have a much bigger fish to fry. So why are you targeting a Gall Bank exec anyway? Not exactly your average Crimson Fleet prey. Why the interest? Playing it safe for now. Okay. I can respect that. But let's make one thing clear. If I'm gonna stick my neck out by helping you get near Dombrowski, I want something in return. I dozed off again there for a second. Jesus Christ. Th this game... It truly is the amazing power it has to put people to sleep. Well, well. It appears we have a mind reader here. You're absolutely right. I don't want money. I want back into the Crimson Fleet. It's as simple as that. That's a disturbing way to put it. But I suppose that's the best offer I'm gonna get, so I'll take it. Dombrowski's a full-timer aboard the Siren of the Stars. Probably spends more time cruising the space lanes than actually working. Fortunately, the Siren is hosting the Tehran Preservation Society charity gala. Larry won't be able to resist showing off his VIP clout. To get what you need, you're gonna have to attend the gala, talk to his fellow philanthropists, and dig up some dirt. Jesus. This game is really fucking putting me to sleep. God. God. Uh... Yeah, I... <laughs> I actually was falling asleep there. I missed most of what he said. Don't worry, as far as the analysis goes, I'll be going through all this again on my own off-stream to get the footage. Take it easy. I'm just getting you started here. I'm sure you'll come running back to me for help again. This card will allow you to access the Starview Ballroom. If you need my help, I'll be relaxing in one of the upper level lounges. Head inside and mingle with the crowd. No one likes Dombrowski, so they'll be more than happy to share his dirty secrets. Bethesda Game Studios made a mimetic sleeping hazard, yeah. Well, you better learn quick. 
Oh, there's one last thing. Trident equips all of their starliners with the latest acoustic threat detection. Meaning that you lose patience and kill anyone aboard the ship, security will be alerted and all hell will break loose. Anyway, I suppose that's enough to get you started. Good luck. Hmm. Oh, and while you're at the gala, avoid the canapes. They're frozen, not fresh. The newest SCP, Snarfest, yeah. Rokov himself sounds bored and tired. Yeah, people are saying in chat that he sounds like someone's OC modded in. That, like, it sounds like he's talking quietly so his mom doesn't hear him in the next room, you know? God. <laughs> You're a guest of Captain Rokov, right? Welcome aboard. Captain Rokov is one of the most easy. regarding the security of your items. Quite a lovely Starliner. Nothing but the best for the mm. society, eh? The society chair has really outdone herself this time. My eyes and ears kept glazing over. Yeah, it's, uh... <laughs> and this may sound nuts, but ever since I got... Castlevania Advanced Collection. My Switch hasn't had as many crashes as it did when I tried to play Skyrim. Is Soma Cruz fixing my Switch? I, I don't know who that is. This game somehow clawed itself out of the overwhelming negative. That's probably because like those reviews just expired as being recent. So they've just been filtered back into like overall reviews. Kratos, let's go to bed now. What time is it? Oh god, it's 7 o'clock. Uh, Kree, do you want me to come along the stream? Uh, sure. Uh, I'll do a call in the group chat or something, and maybe with you guys here, you'll help fucking keep me awake. $5 from uh, Mischi. Thank you. Maybe it's just a me thing, but I really hate farish future sci-fi just going, lol, the earth is dead. Yeah. They almost certainly did it here because um, they because it would take too much time to like model the entire Earth. And you can't just proc gen Earth because people are will be like, oh, well, why doesn't this street exist in Starfield where it does in the real world? You know? Hello. Hello. Yeah. I, yeah, I've been, I wasn't even that tired, but this game, like, is actually putting me to sleep. <laughs> yeah. Remember, this is the game that I literally fell asleep mid-combat. No, I know. But... Like, I, I was not tired when I started the stream, and how far into the stream am I? An hour and a half. I'm an hour and a half in, and I can already just fucking go to bed, because it's made me that tired. Um, I will say, I will be right back a moment. So, I'm finishing up cooking my dinner. Doing? Okay. But other than that, I will be I absolutely be here.
I have something for us to watch after you're done streaming. All right. I probably won't do a super long stream because uh, I do have work tomorrow. And how long is the thing you want us to watch, Pagan? Uh, 25 minutes. Okay. If we end early enough, we can also watch an episode of Game of Thrones if you want. Yeah, okay. I'm sorry. I don't believe we've met. Do I know you? My word. Is that supposed to be a veiled threat of some kind? I'm certain we've never been acquainted before, so I'll do you the courtesy of forewarning you about the impertinence that's to follow. When you approach me, I'd highly advise you to choose your words carefully. Otherwise, it's likely they will be your last. Oh my god. I think we're done what? here. Good day. <laughs> I had the stream muted and I just saw this guy talking, so I unmuted it real quick to see what he sounded like. That is not the voice I was expecting. <laughs> From this balding fuck? Yeah. Yeah. Ah, uh, we're speaking again. Lovely. I can't possibly think of anything I'd rather yeah, do. Yeah, the voice doesn't match the face. He's a Redditor, kill him! Oh, think you've cracked the case, detective? Bravo. I'm not certain why you're approaching me with this harassment, but I can assure you that you've made a potentially life-threatening mistake. Perhaps you're unaware of the extent of my influence, or perhaps you're irrevocably stupid. I'll assume it's the latter and overlook it for now. Repeated pestering mm. is not going to win you any favors with me. Go away. Hey, I can kill him. Holy like Batman. I tried playing nice, and he said no. It's my legal right to kill everyone on this ship now. I did my due diligence to try and play nice, and they rejected it, so now the massacre can begin. The game can't handle this level of player freedom. <laughs> Look at me. I'm the captain now. <laughs> Dude's name is actually Dumbroski. Yeah. I'm sorry. I don't believe we've met. Do I know you? <laughs> well, of course you do. Everyone on the Siren knows who I am. I'm certain we've never been acquainted before, so I'll do you the... When you... <sighs> of course the dialogue doesn't fucking matter. Why would it oh, ever fucking speaking. matter? I don't even have a chance to... Have you taken leave of your senses? I will do right, nothing of the sort. Accost me again, and Did I will make sure that you regret it for the rest of your miserably short life. But Cree, it's oh, the greatest RPG of, of all time. Lovely. <laughs> oh, I think you'll. Yeah, find I saw someone I'm say, uh, far. I'm not certain." They couldn't why believe that I fell asleep mid-combat, but uh, we haven't recorded it on stream. Mm -hmm. My influence, or. We've spoken it was enough. on the Earth section of Good the day. street. Have you tried the canopies? Or, uh, 
No, you cannot pop the balloons. You could kill all the people, but but five dollars you can't pop a balloon. You you win that bet, Calbeck. Are you a member of the society? Oh my god. Fucking titanium balloons right there. You can also just stand on them too. You can stand on the balloons. The balloons. Oh look at all these credits just sitting here and let me guess, no one's gonna give a shit if I just take them all. Wow, it is so nice of people in this universe to not care when I'm taking thousands of credits from them. Here for business or pleasure? Larry has an A-level executive rating over at Galbank, which means he has access to everyone's accounts at the touch of a button. I heard it's fitted with 12 internally flawless two-carat blue diamonds. Can you believe that? It's critical that the society keeps the memories of Earth alive in our hearts. I'm doing my part by attending this spectacular event. <laughs> someone... Someone did the bike cuck meme, but... <laughs> <laughs> this or the, it's all right if you rob me. You are happy, so it's cool. <laughs> oh, God. No. And why? I, that just reminds me. I recently saw uh, somebody reposting I that uh, told you what. the base, the various Not base much, sheriffs around the, the United States. That... What? Enjoy the rest of the event. And uh, uh, there's a. The, you know, everybody knows the Polk County Sheriff where he'll, like, tell people, like, Good, I hope they kill all the home invaders and everything like that. Saves us paperwork Please and shit. Make your acquaintance. Mm. And they won't press charges or anything like that against those people. We have a range of excursions. Um, well, there was a, another one, another famous one, where it's like, a Guy broke into a house that was occupied. The residents of the house shot at him. Which made the perpetrator run. The police eventually got there and they tracked him down and they took him and they told, uh, told him now, uh, listen, we don't know who shot at him, but come to the, come to the sheriff's office. You won't, uh, you're not in trouble or anything like that, but we have a, uh, gun safety class. You'll shoot better and you'll save the taxpayers lots of money. <laughs> Oh, God. Two hundred CCK from Cliff Racer. Thank you. Dead. I'll catch another live stream anytime soon. So here's a bit more before I leave. Oh well, thank you. It's very much appreciated. I'm at the point of just finding this uh, mini game tedious now. Five dollars from Kelbeck, thank you. I was going to send a tenner, but I took five off to credit myself for the bet. Drink coffee, you tired bastard. I don't drink coffee. But thank Savages you, I do appreciate drink it. Drink coffee.
I'm shocked there wasn't, like, murdered hooker's corpse in here that I couldn't just immediately use as blackmail against him. Probably gonna be on that data slate or something. It's just a generic tablet. You would think that would be, like, a key thing, but no, it's just a pointless item. Oh, he's got a safe I can steal from. Oh, so that uh, Bethesda can have their junk economy, right? Yeah. Even though it doesn't actually fucking do anything in this game. Yeah. I need to... No, that one doesn't go down there, though. What does fit down there? Five dollars from some shambler. Thank you. Why don't you drink coffee or hot tea? It's healthier than soda. I just... I don't like them. Here we see Creed kicking the poison digipick down the well can road. Yee. Yeah. <sighs> okay, so that... Could go on the next row. Oh, you know what? It does. Hold on. If I put that there... No, that doesn't, that doesn't work. Actually, no, it's not that one I need, it's... I've got that one slotted too, though, in second. Fuck. Okay, so that doesn't go to any of them. Alright, so this one is the only one that doesn't go into any of them. This is why console command unlock is so good. Yeah. This, uh, this is very fucking tedious. I, th I think I'm gonna have to bring this up in the, um... Analysis. That this lockpicking minigame, at least for me, grinds, like, drags the game to a grinding halt when it's already moving incredibly fucking slowly and tedious. Yep. Because, um, you have limited digipex usually. They're, you know, you find them around, but you go through them really fucking quickly. If you slot one in, then take it out, you lose the digipick. So, you kind of have to, like, be careful with them. So, you want to line up all the things before you go forward, or else you have to backtrack and, like, god... It's such a shit system. The more I, ha I have to do this, the more I hate it. At least requires brain use, but also just so tedious and annoying. Yeah. Yeah, they, they could have done something better here. Um, I'm not going to say this is the worst 
thing they could have done, but it's pretty bad. See, that one and like really makes sense there, and it only fits on level 2 as well. You know what, fuck it. I am going to put that one in here and that one in there. So that goes there. That goes there. We need one tooth. Actually, hold on. No, that doesn't fit down there. I should have seen that it graded out too, so. Okay, that doesn't go, that does. That was it? I was hoping to find fucking evidence in here or something. This was not worth it. What's a quest log say? <sighs> Discover the location of the ES award. Optional care. Kill Larry Dum uh, Dombrowski. Ask society patrons about Dombrowski. Yeah, someone in uh, chat pointed out his name is literally Dumbroski. <laughs> or Dumb. What? Dumb. Broski. It's like, uh, okay. Canada still exists? No. No country still exists because the Earth is dead. In the amazing lore they made for this wonderful game. It isn't complete fucking dog shit at all, I swear. We're so fucking boring. It gets truer and truer, man. Yeah. Please remember to obey all posted safety and mustering. It's part of the reason I said As was right, because this entire so game is fucking dog shit. He's completely right in saying it's boring. Absolutely spectacular. The society chair has. I heard he uses Galbank's VIP suite on the Siren of the Stars almost monthly. Does the man ever do any real work? By the way, uh, Kratosis, you think you'll ever try out Stellar Blade? I don't know. Is that coming to PC at all? I, I have no idea. I haven't paid much attention to it. Leap from above onto the balloons. Perfectly safe. Balloons can be used as a mid-air platform to stand on. Could we talk? Even if I was offered the award, I wouldn't take it. Are they trying to do like a hay bale thing? Like a fucking like Assassin's Creed nonsense moment? What do you mean? Or are you just saying something somebody said in chat? That the balloons can be used as a platform? That they should jump onto the balloon. That you should jump onto the balloons. Um, leaping onto the balloons with someone in chat, but he's saying that because the balloons are solid static objects that you can stand on. Yeah. Do we really? I thought the the Would game might join? be dumb enough to they be like, we set up a bunch of balloons for you to land on when you jump or something. The society. Be like what? Yeah, because I said balloons could be used as a mid-air platform. I've because they they literally can. Times, Hold on. Yeah. Open bar would have been Your nice. character even latches onto it for the fucking grab onto object thing. Someone in chat also pointed out that, uh, what's it called? Even if Fallout 76 had balloons that you can pop. Oh, 
Have you tried the canopy? Nothing but the best for the society, eh? Yes. He's some kind of top dog over at Galbank. I made I ramen with some soy sauce that chicken. Was running a fake loan scam. Besides what I already told. Benjamin Bayou of Neon won the award the first time it was presented, but he dropped out. I need to be careful when you're using soy sauce as an ingredient. I honestly you know what you're doing. don't. Very tasty. Is this about that feature SSN and ran a few years ago? It is a shame that the Earth ended in such a sorry state. Uh, Ten dollars from Quirty Boy Eight. Thank you, Todd. Who's laughing now? <sighs> Todd is laughing at my pain and suffering as we speak. He personally decided one day, Hey, that you, uh, YouTuber Kretosis, fuck this guy in particular. Let's make this game to make him depressed. And have to waste his time making an analysis on the shit fucking game. I'm a silver member of the society. But only a hundred thousand more credits, and I... You don't necessarily have to be wealthy to contribute. The society is such a worthy cause. What could be more... Donations to the society can... Is this about that feature... Oh my god. Hmm. Now that was a good thing. Here for business or pleasure? Dombrowski is married to some poor woman that he constantly leaves behind in New Atlantis when he goes on his a business trip. Haven't we all? Sheila Holbrook is chair of the award committee this year. Thank God I got one of the fucking pieces of information. I Sheila need. Holbrook is chair of the award committee this year. I'm a silver member of the society. That's all then. Fucking inane okay. dialogue. Is there a way I can Hello? just fucking uh, kill this guy without anyone system. seeing me? If you have any specific requests. I like how I could just waltz into the VIP section, no problem. Here for business or pleasure. <laughs> Don't forget to keep your star view pass handy at all times. I'm sorry, but unless you're reporting a security situation, I need to get back to my station. Pleased to make your acquaintance. So, what brings you aboard? Yes! Not what I meant to do. Have you tried the canopies? For it. Uh, Notice, Earth spirit, not their cultures. Generic, let Earth, Kratosis. UN runs everything United Humanity trope of sci-fi. Has truly been a disaster for storytelling. Yeah. Yep. That you is I don't know why so many people think the UN is, like, worth anything. It's one of the most fucking incompetent, like, evil organizations on the fucking planet. Is there a way for me to lose detected status? Okay, there we go. Hidden. Instantly detected. What the fuck? There's no way your security system is that fucking good. How am I supposed to kill a motherfucker when I get detected automatically? his head too. I could snipe him from here. Uh. 
Stealth doesn't work in this game, Cree. Yeah, it definitely seems like it doesn't. Uh, I'd say it works, but incredibly fucking shittily. Yeah, as we can see right now. Like, who's seeing me right now? Is it him? So if I go back here, I get hidden status. It's like, okay, yeah, that's good. But... Immediately detected when I step beyond this line. No one can even see me from here. Don't tell me you need a uh, bunch of perks to make stealth work, huh? Probably. Yeah, you do. Chuck. Stealth. Rank 1. Adds a stealth meter. You're 25% more difficult to detect when sneaking. Suppressed weapons do an additional 5% sneak attack damage. Upgrades the stealth meter. You're 50% more difficult to detect when sneaking. And the only way to upgrade this is to get sneak attacks. You know, rather than just sneaking, it's sneak attacks. I fucking hate this system so much. Yep, it's really dog shit. <laughs> so I just have to talk to these fucking inane NPCs. Please remain in designated passenger areas at all times. Have a safe journey. Until, like, one of them says something about Dombrowski. His behavior toward women is abominable. That man really ought to be ashamed of himself. Besides what I already... Nice to have met you. Any complaints about your cruise should be directed to one of the staff. Quite a lovely starlet. He's been spending a lot of time with Claudia Swist. Quality time, if you catch my meaning. I'm certain his wife doesn't know a thing about it. Okay, good. That's all then? Who the fuck is Claudia? Okay. Is she I even in this room? They decide to hold all future she might actually be. Hold on. Gonna meet to him. A <laughs> fucking course, Lamau. Yeah. Is this important? I don't have a lot of time for idle nonsense. Yes, I'm extremely busy preparing you, uh, for the award ceremony. Watch so that. Uh, be important. One video. Um, it was a lady that's been on EFAP uh, before. She uh, made a video about the uh, complete insane bullshit about only two percent of uh, horsey fun time victim reports are false, and it's actually more like forty-one percent are false. Oh my god. Yeah. Are I you talking? Hold on. Are you talking about uh, Aiden Paladin? She made the video. Yes. Okay. Yeah. It does sound like the kind of thing she would do because she does a lot of like, I believe, academic research stuff. Yeah. That and, and when she points out where that two percent number comes from that people constantly reference, well, this is it's awkward. uh, I'll just wait like its methodology me. is literally is literal insanity of like we asked a bunch of college students if they thought this was real or false and that is what we based our entire assumption on yeah and it was like yeah that's great scientific methodology no he's Calbeck he said uh force horsey not horse yeah try not to say the actual thing because you know youtube is weird about what it allows and then doesn't allow per hour yeah well, i mean i'm gonna go ahead and say it anyways because I, I just want to explain this in clear terms for people mm. to show how fucked this is because this is something i've talked about on stag before too so yep. there's videos obviously to talk about like true crime stuff that happens and obviously a part of true crime stories is some of them are gonna be about rape. It's just a thing that exists. So YouTube started demonetizing videos that say rape. 
So instead of just allowing people to say rape and their videos talking about rape, people then switched over to, oh, they were sexually assaulted. So this, like, changes the definition of sexually assaulted in people's minds, like outside mm -hmm. of YouTube too, because if you're using sexual assault to refer to rape, the people start think like, it just becomes a fucking, like, it, it just becomes a new rape. That's yeah. the way it works. So yeah. if you're talking about an actual sexual assault, then people are going to assume, oh my God, he raped her. No, 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 he didn't rape her. He fucking touched her booty. They're, they're two very different things, both bad, if it's uh, yep. non-consensual touching of the booty. Yeah. But, uh, like, because people have to switch over because YouTube demonetized that word, that fucked over the actual definition in people's minds. So they, they now think sexual assault is the exact same as rape because it, it's one-to-one -to, -one to them. Which, and, honestly, is what the left wanted. That's and, what they always want with this stuff. And because um, sexual assault became the new rape, they can't say sexual assault on YouTube anymore without getting demonetized. They now have to say, oh, she was essayed. Yeah. But mm -hmm. also because now sexual assault has become synonymous in the minds of the retard that uh, is synonymous with rape. That's why all these leftoid channels and news agencies can say things like Trump raped somebody when he never did. And that was never found to be true. In fact, that was found to be false in every single court case he's ever had. Now, there was one where they said he he sexually assaulted someone, which is vastly fucking different because, again, as we've established, touching somebody, you don't even have to touch them on their booty or, or grab their boob or anything like that. If you touch somebody and it was unwanted, it can technically be, be construed as sexual assault because fucking legal definitions get weird. Some... Yes, I am. Actually, I've been entrusted with the transfer of the award for the last seven of its nine years. Why do you ask? Forget it. I refuse to have a repeat of last year's fiasco, where the name leaked early and started a common brawl. Uh, gender was, I don't know what transsexuals made, itself. but gender was created Inside in the, the 1950s located at the by an actual office. kitty diddler. Now, if you'll what? excuse me, I have much more important yeah. things on my agenda. No, no, I didn't hear you because I was paying attention you. to the game. I just hear that last fucking phrase randomly. Oh, sorry. Uh, Kat was talking about how gender and transsexual were invented in the 1900s by liberals. Yeah. And it's like, I know specifically, I don't know when transsexual was made, but I know gender was created by a man named John Money in 1957. And he was an actual, like, serial kitty toucher. And much worse than that. Yeah, why are we talking about this on stream, on a gaming stream? I'm sorry, I got brought up with everything else. I mean, we already talked about... No, yeah. I know, but I just... I... I... Just don't like having to fucking listen to that shit. I'm so sick of it. Yeah, that's fair. Two euros from Enclave Emily. Thank you. I really like to RP, a uh, gamer or a redditor. Yeah. Thousand things to deal with, and you're not one of them. Goodbye. Hello. Are you a member of the society? The ship's cursor.
sorry. Do I know you? Okay, wait, are you seriously... Uh, are you trying to pick me up? Look, uh, I appreciate the compliment, but I'm already seeing something. I mean, that's fair. And my partner doesn't like competition. He gets very jealous. <laughs> Starfield is already enough of an ordeal. His wife? Uh, oh, for the love of God. I told Larry to keep his big mouth shut, but did he listen? No. He had to impress his friends and treat me like a trophy. Look, I've been in this business for a long time, and I know how this game works, so let's skip all the banter and get it over with. What's it gonna take to make us both happy? You're willing to pay me to give you dirt on Larry? <laughs> Sorry, I... I thought I'd end up on the short end of the deal. You know, this whole thing really pisses me off. Larry and I had the perfect scheme where thousands of credits all worked out, and then he goes and flushes the whole thing down the toilet. So, Kratosis, we're playing Starfield. Do you hate it more, or are you just mad about it? So, first of all, I'm not replaying Starfield. I'm playing content I haven't seen yet. And, oh boy, let me tell you. I hate this game more than I did before. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting to that. Larry got together with myself and this other guy, Gabriel Vera. It is, it is shocking to me over at UC how Security. bad the, the, the animation quality is Larry in wiped him off the system, and Vera kept like, the legal pressure off of us. We were it's just galloping for months. so off. It was Nobody going well until looks like they're an actual person when they speak or move or do anything. Each transaction in his favor before deleting. And you just have to question: How did that happen? <laughs> you God, you know what it reminds me of? Your it reminds me of um, some kind of side Andromeda. If you wanted to blow the whistle, <laughs> the animation you quality, it, it's very similar to Andromeda, and it's like, oh, that's not good. That's not something you want to imitate. I wish I had some. Maybe you should try. No, 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 no. no. They don't get to Vera. get away with it being an be old engine. Somewhere. You update your engine as you go along. That's just, just that's a name. fucking cope that argument right there. Attention. Good luck. You're gonna need it. I wrote a computer algorithm that basically creates a random. Well, it wouldn't surprise me if the people were lazy credits, and they didn't rig the crypto key of the models credits. right. Then they just the algorithm gave, like, simply generic passes the ghost credits left cheek, to right whatever cheek, legit mouth, transfers sort of that the bank transacts. The genuine credits enter a dummy account. The best part is that I also alter the crypto keys as the real cash flows into our accounts. By the time it lands in our pockets, the credits are clean. So on paper. It appears that all of the bank's transactions are covered when it's really just our ghosted dummy creds. <laughs> Genius, right? I'm going to have to go through this dialogue again off screen off stream to like figure out what their scheme is cuz I just <sighs> What, are you ready to damn novel? <sighs> Fine. Vera works for UC Security, so he kept a lookout on their comnet for any gal bank chatter. I guess you could call him our early warning system. And Dombrowski made sure that all of the crypto manipulation I was working on didn't turn up in gal bank's automatic audits. You need top clearance for that kind of access, so we had to cut him in, whether we liked it or not. Sleepy sheep. I'm not a sheep. What? I hope you hurt Dombrowski. Listen to the baz of the Kretosis. Alright. Uh, they're swapping counterfeits for real credits in the bank. Oh. Glad to have you <laughs> Make up, sheeple. Welcome to the purser's office. I'm Chief Purser Murata. Huh? Oh, 
Oh, absolutely. The safe is magnetically sealed and shielded with multiple layers of fully damage-resistant vacuum-proof plating. In an unlikely event, our vessel is boarded and the threat detection alarm is triggered. The safe will be permanently sealed until it reaches port. In the even more unlikely event, this ship is destroyed. We can assure you that your loved ones will be able to recover your goods from the wreckage. So, as you can imagine, your property will be completely secure until you decide to retrieve them from our safe. I've only seen it briefly myself, but I can assure you that it's quite lovely. Unfortunately, the item is locked inside of our safe, which can only be accessed by presenting an appropriate claim ID. Is there anything else I can assist you with today? God. Don't forget to tell your friends how much you enjoy the cruise. So, this quest is clearly supposed to be like, this is our hotshot, awesome fucking heist quest. You go around collecting information, you uh, do the thing to For do the, the thing. Please be certain and it's like, okay. Can you have done it better than this? Oh, hey, the super valuable but not really award is locked in the safe. Huh, how do I get in there? Oh, you need the ID card for the, this very specific thing to get in there. It's like, okay, so now I know what I need to steal from the person to fucking get in there. Rather than the person at the desk being like, yeah, I'm not authorized to discuss any of this with you. No, she just tells you outright. Hmm. Please remember to obey all posted safety and mustering instructions. The real heist is Bethesda stealing our time. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's pretty accurate. This yeah. thing is a soul-sucking time vampire. <laughs> Quite an event they're throwing today. Don't you think? Hello. You hear from Oh yeah, did you uh event? suffer through any more of the uh Helsing show? Not yet, no. I do need to get back on that. I before I had this week off of work, I was thinking, you know, I'm going to get so much done in this week. I'm going to get the sweet baby ink video done. I'm going to get the Helsing video done. I haven't worked on either of them. Ooh. The sweet baby one is just like such a monolithic project at this point. Like I don't want it to be three hours long, but there is so much information to sift through now. It's like, what the fuck do I even talk about? Because there's so much. It's like, do I, do I even bring up the Kotaku article? Well, yeah, because it's, it seems pretty important, but then like, there's just so many threads that spin off of this whole thing. It's like, what to include and what to keep out. What to, like, what is true, what's false, you know? Yeah. Well, we know they uh, got funding from the U.S. government. That's, that's true. Yeah. Which is why. Yeah, I... I, I feel like I need to make this video, but I don't know what resources or, like, parts of the story to use, you know? Yeah. Because, like, there's new stuff happening almost every day, every few days, where, like, um, that Black Girl Gamers group just uh, sent a cease and desist to someone who was talking about their... Uh, racist hiring practices where they would only hire black girls. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's the name of the company, but, like, you can't actually do that, though. Yep. That is classic discrimination.
And, and that only happened like a day or two ago where uh, they sent that cease and desist and uh, that park place, I think it's called, their their lawyer, uh, Ron Coleman, told them to fuck off. Yep. And I believe there's a countersuit that's now been filed against them. Really? Yeah, there's some kind of, I think there's a lawsuit that's been filed against them for discriminatory and racist practices. Yeah, and there's also the whole thing with um there there's a YouTuber Gothics who is uh in their group and they kicked her out because she was critical of uh Disney's Little Mermaid remake casting a black actress Ooh. and they they claimed that this black woman is uh an anti-black racist. So, you know, they're having a real one. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I'm a firm believer that attending these types of events tends to absolve one of their sins and cleanse their soul. But something tells me you're not really here to discuss the event. What did you really want to talk about? Oh, uh, I'm afraid that's a bit outside my wheelhouse. I work for UC Security, so I don't think I could be of much help. I have nothing to do with Galbank. Claudia sent you, did she? Look, friend, I don't know if you're just a little drunk, maybe a touch crazy, or both. Whatever you think you know about me, you're dead wrong. So back off. <laughs> just in case you weren't aware, I am the authorities. Anything you try to report will boil down to your word against mine. And since I work for UC Security, who do you think people will believe? What shit fucking writing? Oh my god. Alright, so Setch. Yeah. A UC security dude, United Colonies security dude, is involved in this yeah. Bank scam where they're passing off fake credits as real ones or whatever the scam is. Mm -hmm. And I said to him, maybe I'll present any evidence I have to the authorities. And he's just like, I am the authorities. Since I'm part of UC security, it'll come down to you your word versus mine. And who do you think they're going to trust more? It's like, really? Um, I feel like if you have evidence of a fucking cop, like, hard, solid evidence of a cop doing something extremely illegal, like, it won't just boil down to, oh, it's, it's my word against yours, you know? Yeah, that is entirely, you are correct. But no, that's what the game just told me. I told you to stay out of my way. Well, as I know, the game I was written by a moron. So. It. Or at least he was in charge of the quality control of the writing. Oh. Of course I can't kill him. Of fucking course I can't kill him. Why would I be able to kill a character in a video game in an open world RPG that's about you making choices where when you complete the fucking game a character, the, the fucking spirit of the universe itself says to you that, uh, oh, what choices will you make in this new universe? Of course I won't have the choice to fucking kill a character in a quest to make my own decision on what the fuck to do. God. 
The Elder Scrolls 6, no uh, no killable NPCs. Yeah, fuck it. Why even bother having killable NPCs if you can't kill the only ones that would make a difference to kill? Fuck it, just make all of them essential. Just make all of them unkillable. Hey, this guy here, Society Patron, just have him fall to his fucking knees and get back up after 30 seconds, because why the fuck not? Why bother having fucking choice in an RPG? Yep. I meant it. An open bar would have been nice. Tried to ski out. I saw your little exchange with Vera. Keep that up, and I guarantee that Embassar's gonna demand that you be arrested. Which is why he's threatening you. That makes sense. We need hard evidence of their scheme. But it's gonna be tricky. The problem is he's not gonna talk to you in public. We need to get Vera isolated so he'll spill everything he knows. Yeah, that's smart. Kill Vera or anyone else involved in his conspiracy and then Dubrovsky heads for the hills. Besides, you really want to ace a member of UC security and have them breathing down your neck? You'll be the top story on SSNN. No, there has to be a safer way. Maybe, but if something goes wrong and he's able to raise an alarm, we're sunk. With all of these wealthy patrons aboard, the ship is crawling with security. Smart. If there's an emergency, standard practice is for all passengers to clear the decks and report to their cabins for lockdown. I think the best chance we have would be to tamper with the life support sensors. Manipulate a few controls and you can fool the monitoring system into thinking there's a, a life support failure. And there you have your emergency. Don't worry, it'll be as easy as it was mingling with the guests at the party. Just throw a few lousy switches and you're done. One more thing, if Chief Engineer Sandin gives you any trouble, tell him I'll erase that gambling debt he owes me. I prefer you use that as a last resort, but hey, what's the harm in losing a few credits when I'm on the brink of rejoining the fleet, right? Anyway, I better start packing. Things are getting hot around here and... Won't be long before Trident figures out you had help. Oh, Brothers yeah, you weren't here yeah. for that part, were you, Satch? Which part? Uh, the captain of the ship. He wants to get back into the uh, Crimson Fleet. What? How did he get out in the first place? Mm hmm. Oh, and the buddy who wanted to betray. The uh, boss man that who... That part I saw. That yeah. part you saw? Yeah, where he gets kicked out and you're not allowed to kill him even though he's threatening you. Now oh, you I being a member of the Crimson like Fleet that. and he is not. Nothing but the best for the society, yeah. Right? Not just that, but they want him off their station. He's not allowed back on. But it's just cool for him to hang out until then. Yeah. This is like... Can't Must make any fucking sense. These unwelcome interruptions? Excuse me? And why in goodness name would I do something as foolish as that? And why in goodness name would I possibly agree to that ridiculous demand? Oh my god. I, I hate this persuasion system. I'm asking her to give me her ID so I can go claim the award from the vault. It's like... First of all, why is this even an option to just say, hey, give me the thing? You know? Yeah. It, it, like, could you imagine a rando walking up to, let's say the president saying, hey, can you give me the nuke codes? 
Mm -hmm. Please. And then, like, the persuasion system opens, and one of your options says, there must be some way we can both win here. Yeah. Not happening. I'm not trying to make your life difficult, you know. Oh, just take the damn thing already. Listen, maybe you can keep this between us. If the award goes missing, there's no need for the insurance company to get involved. What the fuck? What the fuck just happened? Don't you have somewhere better to be? Chat. From this point forward, I don't think we should be seen communicating. No, really, what the fuck just happened? I believe our business has concluded. Goodbye. Oh my god! Hmm? What happened? Alright. We, uh... We need a bit of time for this one. So... An award, the Savior of Earth Award, is worth, I think, tens of thousands of credits or something like that. Very expensive, very valuable. It's yeah. because it's made of blue diamonds and has a gold filigree that can, uh, I guess, be extracted. And people in chat told me blue diamonds actually aren't worth that much and the gold filigree is basically nothing. It would take more work to get it out than it, than it would be worth. Th this is that tends to be a lot of things, yeah. This award that is supposedly worth tens of thousands of credits. Very valuable. It's part of this big heist thing. Yep. I get onto the ship. I find out that there's someone who's in charge of keeping it secure. It's super duper important to them to keep it secure. They've did the award handoff thing for the past seven out of nine years. And they're very proud of this fact. I go to the, the, the vault and talk to the lady there, and she's like, oh, you need the ID card to get in. Okay, cool. How do I get the ID card? You know, maybe I have to steal it from her. Maybe I have to, like, concoct some kind of scheme to, like, trick her into giving it up without realizing she's given it up, you know? Maybe I have to fucking, yeah. like lure her to a secluded place and kill her and take it you know something right no i just went up to her and asked her hey can you give me the id card for the vault and it opened a persuasion system as i just mentioned with the whole like talking to the president for the new codes thing right so i fail a couple i think the first i i know i failed the first one i think i failed the second one as well or did i get it on the second one just keep in mind, this wasn't a four-bar one. It was just like an automatic victory for some reason, just randomly. And she's just like, oh, fine, take the key. Um, oh, we don't need to get insurance involved, though. Keep this to yourself. It's like... What? Something that's valuable. There's going to be questions as to how she lost her ID. Yeah. And, like, she... She, she just gives... She just fucking gives it to you for a persuasion check. And then says, oh yeah, the insurance company doesn't need to know about this. You know what's gonna happen? Like, I'm sorry, this is too big of a thing to not... For, for your insurance company to not take notice of. This is an extremely valuable award that you're about to give to someone. In fact, you just told me off for trying to find out who is supposed to get the award. Because it leaked last year and there was a big fucking brawl over it. A physical fist fight. 
and it was a big fiasco and you were upset about that but you just give me the the card to just take the trophy and go like no one is going to look into that bullshit people paid for that thing to exist mm -hmm. and they're going to want to know why it's gone and why the person who is supposed to get it doesn't have it. What the fuck? It's the perfect this... crime. No, it's this is the perfect crime. This this might actually, unironically, without a hint of hyperbole, be the most singularly fucking retarded thing I've ever seen in writing. <laughs> in any story ever. Like, what... Would you say it's worse than the wristband thing in uh, Jurassic World Dominion? Yes. Yes, far worse. The wristband thing was fucking dumb. It, it was horrible. It's awful. I want to make a video about that movie. This... <laughs> this is far worse, because, like, with the wristband thing, like... Okay, for some reason, the wristband to get into secure access areas... They don't have them set up to, like, identify which person it is. It's just a generic pass. As opposed to, okay, this is uh, senior scientist Bill Scott. And he opened this door because he swiped his wristband thing over the, the scanner. You know? that Not yeah. having that is fucking dumb. But for a character to just be persuaded to, hey, yeah, just give up this trophy worth tens of thousands of dollars just do it forehead I, I i'm a random person you know nothing about and i have no dirt on you whatsoever just give me the thing please by the way don't tell the insurance company yeah. it's fine no one has to know about this except for the people that are gonna fucking inevitably find out because that's how an award Whoever wrote this should actually be barred from fucking creative works. They should not be allowed to write for anything ever again. They, they, the government should confiscate their fucking pencils so they can't even write on paper at home. You, you've lost your right to write. To be honest, I can see why people think Starfield's quests were written by AI, but then again, why blame AI when ML's right there? How do you know she doesn't know you're the Starborn? Because I'm not a Starborn yet. This is our first time round. We haven't gone through the Unity yet. Not on this save. Also, this is, this is another thing that annoys me with people trying to defend Starfield. is like, oh, ML doesn't have to write everything. He's like, yeah, but he was in charge of making sure that all the writing quality and everything was together and cohesive and didn't contradict itself. So, I'm sorry, the buck still falls with him, and it stops with him. It is his fault. He's the lead writer, and I think he's one of the lead designers. Like, yep. I, I can't remember if I told the story on stream or not, but it is in the script for the analysis. One of the safety systems at my job was not working properly it kept detecting like a false positive or a false negative or whatever i don't know what you would call it but basically when the security system is tripped the machine is turned off so because yeah. it's it's running if anyone gets into that area they could get hurt because that's how machines work yep and because the system failed because it wasn't working it had to be put on bypass if we wanted to run this machine so i told my supervisor about it and he was like, uh, I'm going to try and get the mechanic to fix it, but I really don't want to put it on bypass. Because if we put it on bypass and anyone goes in there and gets hurt, I'm the one facing the legal repercussions for that. It's like, yeah. okay, yeah, I, I understand your hesitancy there, man. Like That that does suck, but we, we literally cannot run this line without that being turned off. Yeah. By the way, that thing has been turned off 
almost exclusively for the past two or three months now. They tried fixing it. It's been on a few times. Problem keeps coming back. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with it. It's just the curse of this immense shithole that everything breaks, like, fucking constantly. Yeah, well, that's besides exactly. the point. $10 from Munka. Thank you. Just finished watching your Fallout 4 vids at work uh, today. Very well done. I remember thinking, this is Bethesda, so it's good, and just not finding the fun. A lot of cognitive uh, dissonance for me. Yeah. Uh, I'm glad you enjoyed the videos, and yeah, Fallout 4 is fucking dog shit. I can't wait to finish that video series, too. <sighs> what kind of work do you do? Cre I work in a factory, that's all I'm saying. Maybe once I'm out of there, I'll say more, but for now, I don't want to give too much information away to allow people to, like, pinpoint where I work, you know? Mm-hmm. It reminds me of a uh, patrician joke. It's a reverse philosopher's stone. It turns everything into shit. Yeah. I, I don't know if you're talking about Starfield or my workplace. How about both? <laughs> yeah, see, the real irony, Chad, is that Cree works at a paper straw factory. Oh my god. <laughs> I cannot... I cannot in good conscience work in such a place spreading such blight onto this world. <laughs> Paper straws really are like the invention of pure evil. Yeah, I hate them. They ruin the taste of everything. $20 from uh, Mecha Canel Numbariaro. Hopefully I pronounced it right this time. Hopefully some more money will make the stream worth it. Hopefully one day you can reach enough money to quit your job. Well, thank you. And uh, hopefully. Um, I would like to think that day is sooner than later. I, I would like to think that uh, I can get the channel to a place that I can start living off of it soonish. I don't know what that timeline is going to be, but, like, <sighs> I don't want to be overly optimistic, but I'm hoping that if I cover the Fallout show and my videos are good enough, combined with releasing the, um, each faction part of the Fallout 4 analysis as their own video, I'm hoping I can get to around, uh, 40 to 50,000 subscribers. I know that's, like, a big ask. But if I can just fucking pound these videos out quickly enough, hopefully that'll uh, result in the channel seeing significant growth. Because, yeah. like, just a few months ago, you know, back... I was kind of stagnating at 18,000 for a while, between, like, September to uh, December. And then I released one video in December, and now I'm at 26,000. I, I gained... 8,000 subscribers in the course of three or four months. Which is pretty insane to me. Kree needs the Technoblade level of coverage and donations. Technoblade? I don't know. Uh, also, people were asking about the bounty system the other day that you have, Setch. I'm, yeah. I've been considering something like that for a while, but I've been unsure of how to do it and if I even want to do it, because for me, it kind of feels like asking for money, which always mm -hmm. just feels wrong to me by default. But... Yeah. If there's enough interest in it, maybe I should consider it, like, if people really... But that's the thing, too, is my time is so limited that I would have to put, like, restrictions on it, you know? I don't want people drop... Well... <laughs> it would be nice if people were to drop thousands of dollars on me. But, again, I'm not going to ask for that. But, like, 
imagine if people did start dropping like, okay, here's across several different people, like five thousand dollars to play these twenty different games. It's like I can't do that. I can't. You know? Yeah. Shill more, you cook. I <laughs> There's a difference between shilling and asking for money. <laughs> DSP yeah. asks for money. I'm not DSP. Yeah. That's why I just have a setup. It's like the system is you, you're forcing me to do something on the stream. So I'll push something else out of the way to put it there. Otherwise, you know, just wait and maybe I'll get to the game eventually or whatever, because it's a variety channel after all. That's why I've always had it where it's like to explain to people it, it, again, this is if you don't want to wait or you think it's will be personally funny or whatever to force it to be up there on the screen. Yeah, like people could pay to make me play fucking uh, Limbo of the Lost. Yeah. Yeah, we actually just finished another bounty uh, game today. Which was uh, Castlevania Harmony of Dissonance and God is it shit. I I understand why Castlevania fans are like, man, Harmony of Dissonance is real bad. Um, Just a comment from Fenord in chat. You always have options. You can cook math. <laughs> Jesse, we need to cook Jesse. Uh, five pounds from Threadknot. Thank you. ML uh, got hit by a good story. He doesn't know what it is, but he has a concussion. In other news, I'm looking for a new copy of The Lord of the Rings. Oh my god. Could you <laughs> could you imagine how fucking dog shit an ML produced like Lord of the Rings story would be? Like yes. it it might actually be worse than Rings of Power. Oh god, I don't even want to think that it, of that being possible, but you're right. <laughs> All right. Are your Dark uh, Dark Souls streams on your channel? I'm struggling to find them. Uh, they're on the alt channel. I was actually considering again, uh, start getting on, like, unlisting these streams again and re-uploading them to the uh, side channel, so... thing, but, yeah, I don't know. I mean, now that YouTube actually separates out live and video... Yeah. It's really fucking nice. I wish they would have thought of that years ago. Yeah, they fucking they should have had that years ago. Alright. This moron just gave me the key to go steal the thing. Like, God. And I was kind of giving it credit earlier with like, yeah, you've got this whole heist thing going on. No. No, not really. I'm not sure you could have made this more fucking boring if you tried. I almost kind of want to get that clip of us saying you're boring on the soundboard now, just for this. Yep. Because, like, this would be a perfect time to play it. Oh. <laughs> you probably haven't seen it, Setch. Um... Gary made a video of, uh, I think it was like the top five or six woke disasters in 2023. And one yeah. of them was, um, the Witcher Blood Origin, I think. Or was it Witcher? No, it was Witcher Season whatever, the latest one. And there was this creature there that was like three women who were like somewhat disembodied heads attached to this like wall of flesh type thing. And he made a joke that they look like uh, like testicles or something. But the edit they did was they put Az's face over all three of them saying you're boring in unison. It is fucking funny. <laughs> and I, the first time I saw that, I lost my shit at it. But they clipped that out to use in their fucking streams now. Where just occasionally you'll hear this like Az layered over himself three times. You're boring! It's fucking funny. How's the research going? Fucking terrible. I hate this shit. This is one of the stupidest things I've ever fucking seen. And that's being generous. <laughs> On behalf of Dragon I'd like to welcome you aboard.
Yeah. Yeah, I, I was... I was just able to walk in and take it. Why aren't you letting me open my inventory? Are you kidding me right now? Why the fuck is tab not working? Jesus Christ. Okay, let's see what this fucking piece of shit is. I shouldn't have expected a fucking actual model for it. What? Like, a model of what the award looks like. Why Why would it have a model? Why wouldn't it just be a fucking generic... God. I don't even get to see what this thing fucking looks like. Please let me know if your voyage is unsatisfactory in any way. Oh yeah, it's incredibly fucking unsatisfactory. To be fair, if they made the award, it would look like shit. Yeah, I wanted to see the shitty award. Which is weird because, I mean, I, unless somebody on the team is like really, really obsessed with food, like they do really highly, intricately detailed food models. They hired the most autistic person they could to make the best part of the game, like, to make one part of the game the best they could, and it was the guy who made the food models and not someone actually important. Yeah. Any complaints about your cruise should be directed to But, to be fair, the food is also a big problem because of, they, they didn't know how to fucking, uh, what you would call, optimize it. So it's like, yeah, the, the food is horrifically taxing. Now I get to put people's lives in danger to cause an emergency. I'm like how... I love how they just... They, they don't care that someone just walked into engineering. Like, at all. There, there's no... Like, guards here. There's nothing to keep me from just waltzing right into engineering. Uh, hold up. This area is off limits to passengers. Oh, really? Is it? Where I wouldn't have You're been able Captain to tell because there's no fucking guards. Right. Didn't expect to see you down here. Sorry to give you trouble. How do you know I'm the captain's Captain guest? Did. Oh, uh, sorry. That area is off limits. No exception. If your heart's set on it, who am I to stop you from staring at a bunch of life support machinery? Yes, yeah, so I'm Very going much. to do a stare at I'm it. I'm just going to step out for a bit and stretch my legs. Maybe you can hold this for me while I'm away. Feel free to look around, but don't mess with any of the controls. This seems like such a stupid thing to do. All passengers, may I have your attention, please? The captain has declared a ship-wide emergency. 
Please report to your cabins in an orderly fashion and remain there until you receive further instructions. Here's a bunch of million dollar equipment that my job depends on. Do whatever you want, I'll be right back. Classic Bethesda writing. Not just that my job depends on, that my fucking life currently depends on because we're in the endless vacuum of space. Not that Bethesda knows what that is. No engineer ever born would tolerate a passenger just looking around and fuck off with don't touch the controls. Jesus fucking Christ, is this the Costa Concordia? <laughs> 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 to be fair, that was the captain, not the engineer. Well, yeah, the engineer was the competent one. The entire also, I staff. like how this whole plot is to just get this dude into his All room so I can fucking talk to him. The, uh, the criminal guy when, the like, of the stars is can't I just go into this guy's cabin and fucking kill him now? The guy that they were telling me I could kill earlier? Yeah. Like, why do all this to talk to this one guy when I could have just used this time to fucking blow this guy's head off? Yes, kill Cree, murder. Let none survive. You asked for it. Why are you shooting at me? All right, hold on. I am going to load because I need to save before that. <sighs> I don't think I saved before that. No, I did save before that. No, I didn't. All passengers, may I have your attention, please? The captain has declared a ship-wide emergency. Please report to your cabins. That's not the exit. Fashion. How do I get down there? Remain there until you receive further instructions. Oh God. I want to go to. I found a no, you didn't. How do I get downstairs? Hey, I forgot about the weird oxygen system this game has. Yeah, overexert yourself and resist the urge, fill up you. with uh, carbon All dioxide in your blood. The siren and the UC's on its way. We don't have long. It's well, just like what weird like hey, thing that you know could You're be crazy. interesting in a different game. Well, you sure lightened it up. It's gonna oh, cost driving the fortune to mop up this mess. I'm glad you feel that way. Just remember to tell Delgado how much I fixed into her. You know, I'm still wondering exactly what you needed those credentials for. You feel like telling me, partner? Ah, so he told you to keep it from me. I see. 
I wouldn't want you to risk your position with the fleet like I did, so I'll Why just... Why are we standing around talking slowly anyway, when I just, I like, pissed off the entire security force and ran down here? Now. It's been a long time coming. I owe you one, Dobrich. Nonsense. If there's one universal constant you can depend on, it's that Yevgeny Rokov always makes good on his deals. Always. All right, we better get out of here before Trident sends rescue ships to investigate. Hopefully, the next time we meet, we'll be aboard the key. Time stops during conversations, dipshit. No, it doesn't. Yeah. Just like in the real world. Man. Imagine if in the real world you could use that to your advantage, right? Like, if you just start a conversation with anybody, time literally, like, ceases for a moment. How would that even work, though? Because, like, okay, let's say you and me are in the real world and we start talking to each other. How do yeah. we deal with, like, what if we want someone to hear what we're talking about? Like, we're doing a live stag, for example. We, we just have to keep talking to each other as we walk awkwardly over to them, like, touch them on the shoulder and start talking at them until they, like, fucking get teleported into the, the time dimension where we exist. Why is it sending me to... Oh, that's why it's sending me to New Atlantis. I need to go to the bank. Two dollars from Box Fox Scoot. Thank you. Why Captain giving up well-paid job for a life of crime? Mm hmm. You would think the captain of a highly luxurious cruiser like that in space would uh, be very well-paid, wouldn't you? Yes. And have, like, just a good life in general. Yes. <laughs> I'm probably going to go for, like, another half hour. I've only, like, done one quest for this entire stream. Oh, the game might be crapping out. My character didn't even load into the menu there. Woo! The game's trying to save you now. Game could have saved me sooner by just not existing. Yeah. Excuse me. I didn't even press tab that time. Because ML willed it so creepy. Oh no. If you need a break from Starfield, I got some fan art for you, Kretosis. Is it anything I should be worried about, tentacle dude? How concerned should I be? Exceedingly. Got fucking PTSD from looking in the fan art channel. And they're proud of it. They're proud of the pain they inflict upon me. A city with no vehicles, not even a single mobility scooter. <laughs> Hello. Welcome to the... <clears throat> 
The uh, Galvan You're making an awful lot of assumptions. Your that credentials, please. People in the Starfield universe would be smart enough to know how to use it. Okay, Satch, look how fucked this is. I went to Galbank. I went to their archives. There's a guard there. I have the option to show him the credentials I stole from another guy. Yeah. Just one moment he... while I verify. You know, I... Oh, uh, yes. Go, go ahead. Mr. Because I, I do have a, a funny anecdote about Welcome, this. Welcome, sir. Give me a moment. Oh, my God. Seal the archives. Me? No. Look, this is my first day on the job. Bullshit. Just cut me some slack. Bullshit. Okay? I can't afford Fucking to bullshit. It. Fuck Got you. Kids to Fuck. Feed. God, Everything go fuck out. yourself, Emily. Give me a moment to log your visit. Might not be him. I don't know. But seriously, whoever wrote this, go. go fuck yourself. Fuck. I... God, I fucking hate this. So, um, I hate to break this to you. But this is actually incredibly accurate to real life. No, no, no. Such. He what? said, hello, Mr. Dombrowski. Right? Oh, no. Fucking update. Oh, wow. Fuck it. Yeah, never mind. Oh, actually. Um, still. No, actually, no, he said Mr. So that is pretty wild. But in the real world, there was a uh, uh, a captain. He was an Olympic gold medalist uh, for accuracy. And the Navy, by the way, told him he had bad eyesight. So that's why they weren't going to let him in, even though he literally had just won Olympic medals for shooting. Um, he was shocked about how bad the state of security was at U.S. military bases in World War II. So he literally had an ID made for himself and he put the picture of Hitler on it, on the ID. So he actually would go up to the military bases and he got into, and he's like, he actually managed to get into every single military base. None of them asked questions whatsoever. Nobody checked the ID, the actual visual of the ID. Okay. So then he had a brief moment of like, well, I don't think I, I look like Hitler. But I'm just going to go extra careful. So instead, he put on his new ID to try this stunt again. He put on the new ID, the face of a highly famous female actress at the time. Like she was a she was a star that basically everybody knew. And he still got into over half of the places. OK. I feel this is <laughs> a tad bit different, though, because that's World War Two, where no. things are pretty fucked all the way around not to imply this game isn't completely fucked but like do you think that would work on a bank employee or like yes no let me finish fair enough for like the top secret archives with their most important information including a cover-up of one of their ships missing that had, like, the most amount of money ever in the world in one single place that vanished. And they covered up, didn't claim on insurance for some reason. And, like, you're you're posting a guard here who it's his first day on the job. His first day on the job, maybe not. But, yes, I would believe that would happen. All the time. And and keep in mind, the security ID you're using isn't just for, like, some random guy. This is one of, like, the head honchos. Yeah. You you, you think that would work? Yes. Because it, it does all the time. That's the, wor that's the worst part. That's the, that's the like, joke that is uh, security. Now, again, like I said, it being his first day... I would actually say, no, it probably wouldn't work on somebody who's their first day because they would be extra vigilant. What happens is apathy. Apathy people just check uh, name on the ID, level of security. All right, you're good to go. Because they don't want to deal with you anymore. They don't want to deal with it. They don't want to sit there. They don't want to talk to you. They just want to get back to doing nothing. And again, that's what that's what happens all the time when it comes to like, what should be really secure facilities. Like, as long as you look confident in who you are and you walk up 
and you stride forward and you hand them an ID, they will most likely pass you right through. Like, it, it, it's like it filters in. Like, it, it's that whole joke of, like, in one ear and out the other. It's basically the same concept. So, yeah, I could absolutely believe that would happen. Not for somebody on their first day, though, because they haven't developed that apathy and they would be incredibly nervous to fuck up on their first day. So it's literally just every security system in the world just completely fucked and vulnerable then. Yes. Just, That's the, I, I knew that the whole the, thing of, like, I mean. walking confidently and, like, if you look like you're supposed to be there, like, okay, you're sneaking onto a construction site to put on, like, reflector vest and a hard hat. Mm -hmm. I, I knew that, but I figured, like, things that are slightly more important would get filtered a bit easy, like, a bit better. Like, if, if it's if it's that easy, why is no one, like, snuck in Area 51? They've tried. And, and, and taking pictures of uh, all the aliens they have there. Because <laughs> I feel like that's, like, one of the greatest examples of, like, how do people not get... And also, if it's if it really is that easy, how are, how are there not, like, massive thefts of money from banks daily using this fucking method. No, 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 no. You're, you're, mis you're, you're missing what I'm saying. I'm not saying it's that easy. I'm saying it happens a lot, though. More than you would think it does. It's not like every single guard on the planet is going to get that level of apathy. No. You're going to have a lot of them that do suffer that level of apathy, including on areas where it should be super top secret. That was the whole thing with World War II. They're literally at war. They know there are Japanese spies, and he was able to walk into secret areas with an ID of a fucking woman as, as the face instead of his face. Yeah, and, and banks especially, because, again, there's the, the weird assumption of, like, if you've made it this far, you must be somebody who's supposed to be here, so they naturally give you the benefit of the doubt, even if they shouldn't. What the fuck, man? There was the whole whole thing of eyewitness testimony is completely fucked. Yeah, well, no, I know. You can, yeah, you could manipulate people into seeing whatever the fuck you wanted them to see. Yeah. Would they bother putting in decorations? Depends. Like, if you're this, if you're like a really high-end bank and you have high-end clients, and you bring them into areas like this, oh. I guess we can't have a sequence in this game without combat. Well, I shouldn't say <laughs> that considering the last sequence was a sequence without combat, technically. I just decided to go the combat route. Um. Why the fuck are there just a bunch of epileptics in the bank vault? Is that why the guy at the desk was nervous? Because it's like, oh, there's a bunch of guys in there. Yeah, that's weird. Are they, like, bank security? No, they're the epileptics, the fucking mercenary group, the talent company, the gunners. Yeah, I know, but again, is the bank contracting with them? I doubt it, considering they're hostile, like, everywhere else, and they don't seem to fucking Hello? I, I guess I'll Welcome find out the... just one moment is the bank I... teller maybe not actually the bank teller That's is what it I'm like thinking. actually one of yeah and he's like just like Me? oh well everything shit. checks in. there <laughs> we go send him in, get him killed is it raining out there or sunny or we don't exactly have windows down here <laughs> yeah never mind you did have the option to ask if there's anyone else down here, and I maybe should have picked that option. Hmm. 
I love enemies that have multiple health bars. It makes the game more fun. Yeah. Yeah, do we know if the guy was a, uh, was pretending to be a... Yeah, I camera? don't know that yet. I said I have to find out. What's the worst part of this game for uh, to you? The fact that it exists at all. Yeah, buddy's gone. Hmm. Okay, I can forgive like most of this. If oh, am I over encumbered? I think so. I think yeah. you only had one kilogram left. Or yeah, because I took his. Uh, Incendiary space trucker's space suit. Oh my god, the that's conveniently being robbed the moment you're there, so Emil doesn't need to deal with security procedures. Got it. Also, just what a mouthful of a name that is. Incendiary space trucker space suit. Ye. <sighs> okay, fucking whatever. How do I drop R? All right. Oh, look, the supremacy is here. One of the ships is literally named Serendipity? Yeah. Search attempts. Eight attempts failed. Last known system position, Bannock. Last known planetary location, Bannock 4. That still reduces it to an entire planet, but I mean, like... I feel like if it's been gone for a hundred years, I would have found it by now. But also... Why didn't... Crix take the money and do something with it? God, I, I hate this. Yeah, you know, let's just keep a computer record of the thing we're trying to cover up. I know when I commit highly illegal crimes, I keep a very well documented documentation of it. Yeah, that was the part that just made me laugh. That it was a. It was a cover-up, but they're keeping all of the paperwork for it. It's like, wh why? I like how you're in their vault, too. I guess this is their archives, but why would the epileptics be in here? Because it doesn't look like you can actually steal any of the credits from this place, which you should be able to, but I guess they can't allow you to just take fucking 500 million credits in this random quest. Just wait, this is actually a half-ass decent quest, or at least less bad. Well, if he did, uh, the ship is just there, but there's nothing in it. 
I doubt it. Pre answer my question. I didn't see your question. I guess just no one gives a shit that Buddy abandoned his post either. It was an ambush. Yeah, they did say it was an epileptic ambush, but like, why are they ambushing me? How do they know to ambush me there? How do they get inside? Just wait, the quest gets better after 40 hours! Yeah, I'm sure. That moment when you set up your ambush for inside the vault, but then don't have anyone react to the damn door opening. Yeah. Why would you have guys on the door ready to blow they away the guy who comes blow. in when you're setting up an ambush for him? Beats me. <laughs> and they know to set up anything for you there? I don't know. Maybe because I killed the dude? I'm gonna go back and do the other path where I fucking do the blackmail route, but... Man, I don't know. E. This game is just infinitely fucking shit. You wanna kick back? Avoid the last Nova. Bogs in a funk that'll kill any move. If you need a credit, get up the mission boards at the board. Your buddy Rokoff is aboard the key. Told me everything that happened. Yeah, he won't shut up about you. Keeps going on and on. <laughs> now I remember why we kicked his ass out the fleet. He keeps talking, that's why we kicked him out. Yeah, that'd be a first. All right, neighbor, See, says you always point. go through that ambush. Well, since you're vouching for Rokov, I guess we can give him another chance. All right. Now that is out of the way, we can move on to the matter at hand. Crix's legacy. Speaking of which, let me see that data you copied from the Galbank archives. Ah, so the Galbank transport went down over Bannock 4. No, it's its last reported location. Why does that sound familiar? Neva? Yeah, yeah, keep your panties on. I'm looking it up. And... I... Got it. Bannock 4. Let's see. Damn it. Bannock 4 is an EM-class gas giant. We can't even get a ship near the thing without frying every circuit aboard. Don't know that one, huh? Well, pick up your pencil. There's gonna be a test on this later. EM-class means the planet is given off a ridiculously high amount of electromagnetic radiation. We're talking off the charts here. Fly your ship anywhere near one of these death traps, and you'll blow every single circuit on your ship. You'd be dead in space. You get it? Yeah, Rook. Just like every other time we've gone on this worthless treasure hunt. Both of you shut up and think for a second. I'm sure Creeks hit the same roadblock. All we need to do is figure out how he got around it. This sounds like a goddamn waste of time to me. That's the spirit, Rook. That is the essence of the Crimson Fleet that has been slipping away lately. Neva, the Galbank data says the transport had a CBR-27 transponder. Can we track that kind of thing? Pinpoint its exact location? That transponder is military grade. We're talking ultra bit encryption, constantly reshuffling frequencies. Oh boy, I can see what the next quest like is gonna be. Around. But before you get that pissy look on your face, I heard 
That the UC's been working on a ship signal decryption system called a comm spike. We grab that little beauty, and we'll be able to track anything you want. All right, here is the plan, so shut up and listen. Rook, I want you and Neva to put your heads together and get us that comm spike. I don't care if it's mounted at the top of mast. I want it. In the meantime, I'm going to find out more about this EM class gas giant problem. And I think I know just who to ask. Give me a little time to crunch the numbers on the comm spike with Jazz, and I'll point us in the right direction. <sighs> I promise. You're gonna write that in your diary, little girl. All right, that is enough. We are in arm's reach of Crix's legacy, and I don't have time to deal with this kind of bullshit. Now, both of you, get the hell out of here and get to work. All right. Let's get this over with. Follow me. All right, I guess I'm not going to do the other path, because I thought I was going to talk to Sysdef and they'd be pissed off at me for killing the guy. But no, there's there's no consequences in this game. I think, the only, I think the only way you can get kicked out of uh, Sis Def is if you actually fucking attack them, like, directly. <laughs> Alright. Fuck it. I've had enough for today. Thank you for coming out, everyone. It's very much appreciated. I'll do more of this fucking eventually. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Have a good night, everyone. Say bye. No! Goodbye. Yeah, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on.